Hiya from Nebraska, y'all. It's Square Peg. And I have not finished doing this, but I just came up with today in mid doing it. And I thought, I gotta go to work in a little while, and if this happens today, I wanted you to know about it. Uh, big, major bam. I gotta pause for a second and get my head together. Hold on. Okay, so I was thinking about the archaics prediction about someone on TV. There, two of them say it's a media person. One says just someone. Two of them say it's a suicide. One of them just says someone dies. So there's three different times that that something has been predicted. Live TV. Someone dying on TV, right? So I'm looking into this. And I'm looking at celebrities who have family members who have committed suicide. Because there's this Christine Chubbuck back in 74. And I think that's what, at least one of the things that, that his prediction was based on was this event from 74. And she's got, her initials are CC, right? And I found Anderson Cooper, and you know Cooper has been popping up a lot in Eminem, M's. He's got two people, actually, his ex-wife and his uncle. And his uncle's name is Ronnie, was Ronnie. Um, so Donnie Darko. The reason Donnie Darko's connected, it seems odd, but really, there was a weird time thing, right? There was a hinky in time, and in order to fix it and save his girlfriend's life, he had to sacrifice himself. He had to die. So he put himself in the bed where the engine fell from the plane and landed in his bed and killed him in order to reset the timeline back the way it was so that his girlfriend would live and he would die instead. It was a sacrifice, a sacrificial suicide, right? So I'm looking at plane crashes where the engine fell out of the plane and seeing if I could find one on a time that matched, and I did. This one here, it's um, American Airlines 191 in 1979. And um, also in 1979, you'll know that I have Jimmy Carter and the Killer Swamp Rabbit, which happened in April. And then the next month, there was this plane crash. 273 people died, and it's still to this day the, the deadliest plane crash in American aviation history. Um, and I had been playing around with this on Facebook, where I took the, the rabbit, the Frank the Rabbit and Donnie Darko that gives him the timeline, there's this many days until the world ends, and I started it where the movie starts. Like, not when it was released, but when the movie starts, right? And it's 10-2 uh, of 88. And I added it instead of doing days and hours and minutes and seconds. I did years and months and weeks and days. And it brought me out to this October. October 24th, 2023. And the movie was actually released October 26th. So that's very close. Obviously a different year, but very close to the date that it was released to the public after its Sundance premiere on 119, 119, the plane here, 191, right? Okay, so we have all these rabbits down here. We have Alice in Wonderland in 65, Peter Rabbit I just talked about the other day, Bugs Bunny in 40, and I this is where I stopped. I, hadn't, I didn't have enough time to get to this, but I got to this date because I was trying to figure out these two things that called fall. Because Eminem's got an album called Kamikaze. Suicide Bomber, right? And it came out 9-4 of 2018, which connects to this year. And then there was Fall, the movie with the two girls who climb up the TV tower. And one of them falls to their death. Uh, that was last fall that it came out. Well, summer. Uh, August 12th of 22. Um, and I had added... Because they all said the B-67 Tower, B-67 TV Tower. So I added 267, you know. And then I thought, you know what, 42 weeks. Because I did that with the Burning Dragon, and it brought me to the next Chinese New Year. This is the current one that we're in. The Blackwater Rabbit is the year that we are in. Right? So I added 42 weeks, and that comes out to today. 
today exactly is 42 weeks from when that movie came out. When the TV, the two girls climb the TV tower and one of them falls. Decoding with Cody was just talking about Joe Biden and how he falls all the time. He's falling, he's falling, he's falling. And he's saying that it's attached to, he thinks it's attached to a plane and the fall of the Democrat Party. And I realized that I think, I think you might be right. I think you might be right. And so that brought me to today. Doing the Donnie Darko thing brought me out to October. I don't know because I didn't get to finish it, but I thought, holy crap, that's today. <laughs> I, need to, I need to warn the people. <laughs> the reason why the rabbits are all playing into this is because this crash happened at O'Hare. O'Hare Airport. It's a rabbit. <laughs> So we've got Frank the Rabbit in Donnie Darko. All these rabbits. There's the goat cartoon with the with the hair that's on the back wall behind the girl with the apple. Um, I thought there was another rabbit that was... Oh, um, The Matrix, right? Uh, I forget what year that came out. Late 90s? I forget what year it came out. I hadn't gotten that far yet. But So we've got Drain the Swamp because Blackwater... It's the year of the black water rabbit, you know, it's a, <laughs> but if you just take the black water, that is swamp water. It lacks oxygen. It's all rank, right? That's a swamp. And then you've got Jimmy Carter and his killer swamp rabbit. And you've got drain the swamp. This is Joe Biden saying and all those, I don't even know how many times he's said it in front of big groups of people. Don't jump. Don't jump. Hey, you don't jump. Like, ugh. So does he think that's funny? Like, I don't know. Maybe if somebody, like, slipped and fell and grabbed onto the railing one time, that might be funny. But multiple times, it's not funny. And, um, I think the drain the swamp... Like, where did that even come from? Where did that phrase come from? I'm guessing it was Trump that said it first, but why? What? Like, that's a weird phrase, right? But if this plane lands in the water they would have to drain the swamp to find the people or they might they wouldn't have to I suppose but they might yeah I'm gonna pause it just to make sure that I got everything okay just a couple last things Christine Chubbuck's parents were named Peg and George my cat and all the other Georges, for that matter. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. This is terrible. She was born in Ohio. Like, a random Ohio connection. And then, after Eminem's album in 2018 that was called Kamikaze, his next album was called Music to be Murdered by. And I do believe that there was one time, at least, that I heard Jason from Archaic say, when he was talking about this prediction of someone dying on live TV, that that it would be staged to look like a murder or it would be a murder staged to look like a suicide. I don't remember and I can't find it. I can't find it. It's not in his Podia link. Like he didn't transcribe it into that document. And I think it's because he probably just said it in a live stream. I mean, he might not even remember that he said it. I don't know. I get that. You know, you get so much data in your head and you don't necessarily write it down and but, you've, but you saw it at some point, and so it's in your head, you know? So I get that. But uh, anyway, heads up, everybody. Or heads down. Yeah. Have a good day. Be safe.